Hey everybody, this is the Fax Man. Today is Friday, which means we are doing our Fax Man Friday edition here on YouTube. Um, I did make a post in my forum for guys that are watching this for the first time. It's www.sportsforumpicks.com. It's where I call home. and It's where you could ask a lot of questions, get involved in the community, as well as um, pick up some good information as far as our handicappers and uh, thoughts on other people's plays as well as mine uh it's a free forum to join just go to sportsforumpicks.com click on the link uh sign up you'd be registered again free to join uh i did read a couple of requests on in the forum as well as on the youtube comments on you guys asking me questions on topics that you want to talk about so i think the first one we're going to do is in-game betting uh live betting now, obviously, I play at Bookmaker. I think all of you guys should. Uh, and if you're playing at Bookmaker, if you're not, open up an account at my forum, sportsforumpicks.com. I'm going to make sure you get the best bonus, the fastest payouts, and definitely look after you guys. Uh, been with the company for over 20 years, so uh, I'll make sure you guys get stuff done. Also, uh, we're going to be doing some contests down the road for the YouTube followers and through our forum where... You could pick some games. Uh, we're gonna do it. We're doing a ball contest now. Where we'll be giving away gift cards, some of my picks. Um, it's good. It's something that you guys will enjoy. So let's talk about in-game betting first. Now, now me, it's a little different for me than it is to most people, based on what I have access to, and what the average guy has access to. Uh, so what me, what I do is I'm not a guy that watches TV games. I mean, I watch fucking Lassie. I don't care about watching sporting events. I tape them. I'll get them edited. I have an editor that makes me watch a basketball or a football game in less than 10 minutes. But what I do is I have um, some people that work for me that watch games, take stats down in the first half of the game uh, or throughout the game. And what I want, what I do is I want to know foul trouble. I want to know how a ref is calling the game. I want to know if um, a team that might be losing by a lot of points you know, basically just getting some bad breaks, bad calls, whatever the case may be, but, you know, should be able to turn it around or starting to make the proper adjustments midway through the first half going into the second half. So what I'll do is my checklist consists of fouls. It consists of um, turnover ratio, uh, three point shots attempted, made different, different types of things where I can do one of two things. It, I make an original bet on a game. What, let's say, Last week, I think it was Duke, Wisconsin, and had Duke for the game. And what I was hoping for, and it actually worked out really, really well, was Duke plays really well early. So I played Duke first half, played him for the game, and they had a really big halftime lead. So I go to I go to live betting, and I, and I see, or actually at halftime, and then throughout live betting, and by betting Wisconsin, what about like nine, uh, about 12 minutes to go, I had a shot at a 15 point middle where my my game bet was safe and I just needed I had 15 points to play with by taking Wisconsin second half. And it's a good bet because when you're in the 20s, you know, up 20, 22, 24, you don't have to worry about free throws, you don't have to worry about none of them things. Uh because they're basically playing the game out, teams will rest starters. So these are things that you need to look at. I um I'm not a guy that bets against myself. I always say, never make a bet you don't want to win. But there, there is options that you can do that. A lot of things, a lot of times what I'll do it with, with, with betting is uh, in-game is I may wait 10 minutes till the game starts. Now, I may get a team that starts off a little slow. Example, line in a game is, say, 12 points. And the game is maybe 10-10 in the first five, six minutes of the game. That 12 point line that initially started might be now eight and a half, might be nine, might be seven and a half. I'll go in and punch it and lay that number uh, because that's, I think, where the best side would be, and I'm getting a better line. And again, sometimes it takes teams a little time to warm up, you know, get in, the, in, their, in their flow. I'll do that. And uh, it's generally a successful proposition. So th these are some of the things that for in game. Now, you guys that want to play in game, what, what you want to do is. Uh, use your head. Okay. I always look at it like this. When you're laying one to seven points, 
you know, that's one to five, I would say, one to five points, and you have a lead at the half, a good lead, and your team is favorite in the second half, well, you're you're up, say, seven or eight points, then you got to lay three and a half. Why lay 11 and a half? You already got the best number. I'm not saying bet the other side. There's no room to, to, to do that. But uh, what I am saying is a, a lot of times what you can do with, with live betting is uh, try to find out where you're getting your best value from. Look at the games. Now, if you're not watching a game and you can't have access to what's going on in the game, I would say don't bet it because you don't have the, the information or the flow of the game going. Um, I always say this, okay, if you're laying seven, if you're laying, let's say, like from seven to 12 points, you better make sure your team that you're betting on makes free throws. Because if you're not, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. Because you're basically looking at a situation where you could be up eight, nine, they'll foul. Now, if you're laying 14 or 15 and your team is up 20 or 18, they're not going to foul in the end. So you got to keep that into consideration too. Certain teams will you have to know coaches. What teams, uh, what coaches will call the dogs off, put other players in the game. Uh, so, so there, there's a lot of situations you need to to understand. So it's it's not a one video type of thing. This is more of a podcast type of thing, or you know, uh, where we can kind of spend some time doing it. Maybe take phone calls or something like that. Uh, it seems a lot easier. Now, you guys didn't come here talking about uh, wanting to listen to about in-game betting, but which, what I will say before I give you my play on Saturday is coming up our next videos, people want a gaming, you know, casino games, craps, blackjack, my philosophy is how I play it. People I know who do it professionally. Um, then we're going to get into a video probably a week after that uh, on Bitcoin. Uh, want to get you guys to know about Bitcoin and how it could benefit for you. I'm not telling you to invest in it. Don't do it, but using it for funding and, and, um, and collecting is, is great offshore. Uh, betting angles, certain ways to bet games, uh, certain angles you need to follow with line movement. Um, we're going to talk about, obviously, a lot of NCAA hoops. Uh, March Madness will be probably around the corner. We got ball games, so there's going to be a lot of videos that we're doing, you know, where we could kind of educate you on things that that are current, that are, that are coming up recently. Um on Saturday, I made a bet in college football, Army Navy game. Uh, I think, if I remember, this game opened 41, immediately dropped to 39 and a half, 39 in some spots, basically climbed back up to 40. So when when people bet this game, here's what happens, okay? Uh, number one, people do not like to bet over on teams that don't throw the ball. You're probably going to be lucky if you see five passes thrown when Army plays Navy. So number one, a lot of people say, no, nah, I can't bet over. I hate fucking run teams, option teams, no take too much time off the clock. Understandable. Uh, also, you guys that follow silly stats like the last 12 times these two teams played, the game went under. Absolutely true. But the total wasn't 40. There's been 50s. There's been a lot of things uh, that you know made the game go under. So uh, people look at that and automatically they're blindly betting under the game. People check weather. Oh, it's going to be cold. It's going to be rainy. It's going to snow and in Philadelphia, no, we check all that stuff. But people say, if it does, I'm getting the best number. Uh, I, lo I locked in 39 and a half, and there is some 40 I'll play. I don't have a problem with it. Here's what I expect in that game. Uh, the passes, you're right, there won't be a lot. I'm right. There won't be a lot of passes in that game. But there's going to be one or two in each team, fake the option, quarterback uh, fake the fullback, quarterback fakes the option, drops back, and it's a guy all by himself down the field, touchdown. It happens. It usually happens once a game for both teams. So uh, I'm looking at two scores there. Also, when you're playing an option team, you're going to bust one or two. You know, So I'm looking at four touchdowns just in them scenarios. Forget about the whole game. These two teams also, forget about punts and field goals. Fourth and two at midfield, go for it. Two good things could happen. They make the first down, the drive continues, or the other team is in good field position uh to, to march the other way. I don't think you're going to see this game being played, you know, as a game of field goals. Uh, I'm looking at some of the numbers that I think that makes sense to me. Navy has surrendered their last six games, 29, 29, 35, 42, 44, and 49 points. That's averaging 38 points per game they're giving up. Uh, you know, but they're scoring 25. So, you know, Navy's going to give up a ton of, ton of, ton of, uh, ton of points, ton of yards. And they're going to put some points up themselves. Army, on the on the other hand, they're averaging 33 points a game. Uh, 
they their defense ain't great. You know, that's they're they're gonna, you know, they'll give up some points. I, I won't touch the side in this game. Number one, I don't like to take I don't like to bet a favorite in a rivalry game because it could be really, really close. And I don't like to lose money on a bad team, and Navy's a bad team this year. So I think there'll be a lot of points scored in this game. I'd be honest with you, the total is 40. I think I think it'll go over 50. I mean, I'm not telling you to bet alternate lines, but I think 40 is, is, is an easy number to bet. Uh, another good number, also, first half, I think it's 20 or 20 and a half. I like that. Three touchdowns with them two teams coming out um, in, in the first half of a game. Totally like that play. I think it's going to be a solid play for the first half on that game. So uh, that's what I'm going to do with Army-Navy. I'm going to play the game over the total. And um, again, sportsfarmpicks.com. I need your, you know, I need your uh, input on other videos that we're talking about. I kind of, you know, give you an idea on what some of the things that are coming up that I'll be doing. Um, hey, this is a pretty clean video. I'm not cursing or nothing. It's bizarre. But no, that's it. Uh, I got my jacket on because uh, the uh, it's fucking cold here, and my wife leaves the fucking uh, that the house. She won't we'll, we'll put the heat on. And I freeze my ass off. It's like 38 degrees or whatever. And she's got like the fucking air conditioner on. It's nuts. Anyway, uh, let's go over like Rover. Army, Navy on Saturday. 3 o'clock Eastern time start. Uh, wish me luck. I'm in a craps tournament on Saturday. So I won't be able to watch the game or play any in games. I'm in a craps tournament. 50 people. Winner take all 150K. If I win the tournament, I'll do a lot of giveaways in a forum. I, I hope I win it. 50 people. I think I have a legitimate shot. So uh, wish me luck there. And uh, that's it for my forum, guys. Ozzy's here. He's sleeping. I should wake the fuck up. It's 5.40 in the morning. I'll get his ass up. When I'm awake, everybody stays awake. So for all my guys over at Sports Forum Picks, Bookmaker, Don Best, all my buddies in the, in the gambling world and on YouTube, have yourself a great day. Good luck. And as always, go fuck yourself.